Welcome to Cheap Controls. We make videos on things that we struggled with, hoping to help you so you don't. Consider subscribing and hitting that bell. In my next upcoming um, real-time clock video, I decided to use an Arduino Pro Mini. It says Mini Pro here, but it's actually a Pro Mini. I'd never used one before, and I had a pretty hard time getting it going. And part of my tagline is, is I like to make videos on things that I struggled with to help you. And this was definitely one of those instances. This is the one that I chose to use. You can see that it's a Pro Mini. And you can see that it's got the transmit, the receive, transmit, the receive, the VCC, and the ground right across there. And normally, I figured that's about all I would need to hook up um, and make it go. So I got. So I got one of these adapters, these USB adapters, and you can see that it has the uh, three volts transmit, receive, ground, and five volts on it. And I hooked it up, and I just couldn't get it to work. And I fought and fought, and I did some research on the internet, and it turns out you have to have a data terminal ready pin also. So I went out and I got a different one. And you can see that this one has a lot more functionality to it. It has clear to send pin also, which I didn't need, but it does have the data terminal ready. Yeah, that's a little bit more clear. It's got the data tool already, the receive, the transmit, the five volts, and the ground. If I can find a good drawing online, I'll put it up here in the video and edit that in there. But with that in, I got, I got it to work quite well. I'm going to pull up an Arduino right now, and I'll show you all disconnected and connected. And this is just my base code that I use if I'm programming a Nexion display. So it doesn't actually do anything except for down here where I just turn pin 13, which is the internal LED on and off every, well, it depends on my delay length, which is up here, and that's 500 milliseconds. So let's just compile it just to make sure that everything is okay. And then I'm gonna shrink this since we're not really too concerned with the code. And so you can see it down here. I have it all connected right now, but let's double check and make sure that my ports are connected appropriately. And we'll upload it. And you can see the pin is the light is flashing and I have it hooked up. I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect the pin. And we'll send it again. The only thing I disconnected was that data terminal ready. And as you can see, I've let it go for quite a little while. I've time lapsed that out, but um, it's just not uploading. So if I go back to this, and I hook that pin back up. I don't know what will happen. I've never hooked it up while it was loading. I usually stop it. Let's see if it completes the load, I guess. Now we'll go back to the... And it doesn't. It's just kind of stuck. I'm going to change this delay length just so we can see that it does make a change to 200. So it should flash a little bit quicker. I'll pull this up over here so we can see it. I don't know what will happen when I click on this, if it will go behind it or not. but. Starts over, bring it up, and this time it should go. And now it flashes much faster. I got a little error in there. I don't know if that's because I unplugged it and plugged it in while it was going. But as you can see, you need to try and, and find a USB adapter that has that data terminal ready, and then you need to connect it on your um, Arduino. The other thing I noticed with these micros um, was up here in the tools. The type here, it had more choices than I was used to, and I, I wasn't sure what I had bought. Did I buy a 328 or a 168? So I, I had to go through a couple of these settings too to make sure that it worked. But uh, if you're using a micro, hopefully there's a couple tips that help you out. Or a mini, I mean. Well, that's about it for this video. If you like what you saw, consider giving me a thumbs up and also consider subscribing to the channel. Thanks for watching.